What is up guys, it's your boy Dre, and we're back finally with the Wonder Kid Reviews. So if you guys are new to the channel, we do this thing called Wonder Kid Reviews because we have nothing else to do in the channel. Now, I'm just joking, it's not really an original series, people have done some form of it in the past, but like I said, I'm trying to continue this for a particular reason. But anyways, before we get into the Wonder Kid Reviews and the rules, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, get notified anytime we do post. For the first Wonder Kid Review of FIFA 22, let's let's get a, a highlight goal, let's get 50 likes. So hopefully you guys can get 15 likes for this video, like I said. It's the first one to cure review of FIFA 22. Some changes will be made. By the way, you guys, I'm wearing sunglasses um, not only to hype up the video, but it's pretty early over here where I'm at and I'm pretty tired. So I don't guess don't you guys want you to see me with my eyes and stuff. But anyways, there are a couple rules we do follow in the one to cure reviews. Basically, let's first of all go through the basis of it. So in the one to cure reviews, what we do is we choose a one to kid. Obviously, it's part of the title. And we go we play through five seasons of the career mode. Basically, we send through the calendar. No games are played whatsoever. And at the end of each and every season, we write up the stats and at the end of the five seasons we go through the stats and stuff like that you guys are asking what's the point of this series basically it's where you guys can see should i sign this particular player for my career mode so in today's question we are doing mason greenwood i mean there's no reason to hype it up like it's in the thumbnail but yeah um basically i will go i'll go through five seasons and you guys are gonna see should i sign mason greenwood for my career mode and i'm gonna sign him so you don't have to at least not yet and if you guys do enjoy how he does then you guys will go ahead and sign him okay so a couple of rules are kind of followed in this one career review as you can see i mean obviously we changed the camera we're down here now but as you can see at the top left we do have 99 manager rating so oh yeah the cheat engine is now available which is what i've been waiting for to start this series and now that it's available i think it came out yesterday um uh, i mean two days before two days as of the like you guys are watching this video so now we can do it so basically we use the 99 rating so we don't get fired and we use one more cheat in one more cheat right before i get into it i'll get into it in just a little bit but some other things what we like to do is depending on the player we like to transfer the player so greenwood will not be transferred throughout <laughs> this career mode but let's say we did a player like kamavinga right so if it was realistic enough by like the third or fourth season kamavinga we would sell him and we'd follow him so basically we'd use the cheat engine to go ahead and follow him to the club let's say if we transferred him like if he goes to Bayern, we'll go ahead and transfer to Bayern with him to follow his progress yeah but with other players in the past we've done pedri and curtis jones where we don't transfer him because realistically in the next five seasons i do see them staying like if Mr. Greenwood performs really well, we'll keep him here. But if he starts to dip down, or my United starts to dip down and he starts going up, we might sell him because that's pretty much realistic for any player. So another thing what we like to do is make sure that Mr. Greenwood plays every single game. And if I'm sitting through the calendar, how I'll make sure of that you may you may be asking. But I have one simple solution, and everyone's gonna hate on me right now because of what I'm about to do. So if you guys don't know, right now I'm not gonna make Mason Greenwood a striker. By the way, I know he should be a striker in real life, but you see why in a little bit. So, he's a right mid, right? Who else is a right mid that's higher rated than Mason Greenwood? This man right here, Jenny Sancho. And usually when you shift through the calendar, what does the system manager choose? The higher rating. So, there's only one thing we have to do. Yes, boys. We're releasing Jaden Sancho. That's the other cheat. We do have free unlimited releasing players. Because we usually have to release a couple players with these Wonder Kids. But Mason Greenwood is one of the higher rated Wonder Kids in this game. So, we only have to release one player in Jenny Sancho. And you guys are probably mad. Why did you release Jaden Sancho? We have to, okay? And in this uh, one review, we will be playing a 4-2-3. So, I'm going to make him right winger just to guarantee that he will play every single game. And the reason I don't make him a striker is because there is no way I am releasing Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? I don't care what well, I am not releasing him. He is the goal. But anyways, there's all, like a little bit more rules we do follow. Um, We don't make any transfers for the team we're at. Absolutely no transfers. We don't sell anyone either. We just uh keep the contracts as long as possible to keep these players here so yeah ronaldo will probably still be playing here in five years time if he doesn't retire he'll be 41 and still be playing that's how it works here let's talk a little bit about the player in question mason greenwood so mason greenwood at the time of writing he is 20 years old has made 72 appearances for man united and 20 goals he has also made one cap his debut for england with no goal score so let's pretend that nothing of that happened okay this is a new first start for mason greenwood those stats will not be taking place into the final five seasons it will be first that starting from here obviously we know what big talent he is i'm pretty sure he has 90 plus potential i don't really want to mention the potential because we're trying to make this as realistic as possible so like i said missing greenwood one of the best talents out there probably not the best talent a lot of people think he's the best talent not in my opinion but that's just my opinion but yeah he is not better than saka i'm sorry <laughs> but anyways there's really nothing else left to say but let's just go ahead and get started right before we do get started though i want to remind you guys three things first of all the sound of the career mode 
Make sure you go leave suggestions down below. We need some transfer suggestions. Not down below, and the, the, the re most recent Southampton video. It is a transfer window. That's why I'm recording this video and putting this video up before the next episode. Give us some time for you guys to leave some transfer suggestions. Second, leave some Q&A questions down below because we have reached 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, by the way. Can't thank you guys enough. And leave them down below because we need some Q&A questions. And thirdly, um, well, there's another thing which I'll mention later, but the third thing is... um. Who's the next player you guys want to see in the um, one career review? I do have a couple players listed. Th shout out to Magician who left like 50 last year. But I want to see some of the new viewers leave some suggestions. That way we can keep a variety, keep everyone happy, you know? Even some of the older viewers can leave some suggestions because I know Magician dominates that list. But anyways, um, now there's really, like I said, there's really not much to say. Other than like, just go ahead and sim to um, the end of the season. And like I said, at the end of each season, we do take a stats. I'm sorry I'm explaining this. It's just for the first video. And also, at the end, we like to give grades to our pairs. So, leave down below. What do you think Mrs. Greenwood's grade would be? But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, did I show Mr. Review sex? Anyways, yeah, it's just a randomly generated character. If you guys want a specific character for Mr. Review, uh, leave down the, how you guys want him to look down below. I don't know how we're going to do this, but Mr. Review would... I'll try to make up making him appearance every video. I'll try to make it funny, but... I mean, he's pretty generic. He's pretty boring. But anyways, now... I'm sorry for the interruptions. Now we can get started. I just want to show you guys that real quick. A few inches later. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the first season for the first time in FIFA 22. For the first time, it's the new one day career review. A couple of things have changed. Well, not really much has changed. It's basically the same thing. But um, we're here again, like I said. It's gonna be a long, long FIFA. We have a lot of Wonder Kids to cover, a lot of new ones, a lot of ones, a lot of old ones that we have not done that were suggested in the previous, but Let's see how my United are doing at the start of the I mean at the end of the first season and see how Mason Greenwood did in throughout the season. Decent performance for my United, not gonna lie. 79 points, third place. Around around where we wanna be to be honest, Mason Greenwood deserves to be around here, which is pretty good because we all know the talent he is. Missing out on the title by six points is not too bad. Two games. FA Cup, did he we win it? No. Where did they reach my United Mason Greenwood? Where did you lead them? Only to the round of 16, losing to West Brom. As for the Carabao Cup. They did reach the final, but lost to Liverpool. Champions League, I left it on. I usually turn it off. And they won the Champions League. So, Mason Greenwood already has um, only the Champions League. No league title, no nothing. But he has a Champions League already. I don't know. I think... Let me know if you guys want me to start putting titles as part of the, the grading. I usually don't. I usually grade them based on goals, appearances, assists, or their defenders, clean sheets as well. But if you guys want to do titles as well, let me know. We also do transfer fees if someone does get transferred. But obviously we're not gonna transfer Greenwood most likely. But if you guys want me, uh, I'm not gonna put titles in this one. But if you guys want me to put titles for the next one, let me know down below. But Mason Greenwood does have a Champions League title already. Okay, now let's take a look at Mason Greenwood. As you can see, he was tied for a three-way tie for the most appearance player in that team. I told you, releasing Sancho helped us a lot. 60 appearances for him, Ronaldo and Rashford. The top three was probably disgusting. 33 goals for me. Yo, oh my god, we're off to a banging star, boys. 33 goals for Mason Greenwood. 33. You know how insane that is? That never that never really happened in FIFA 21. Only for a couple players that we did have. And 9 assists as well. Like, oh my god, boys. I think this is probably the best player we could have started off with. Because he's off to a banger already. Not only that, but a plus 5 in his rating. We all know he should have been higher rated from the start. But he does make sure of it. 33 goals in 60 appearances with 9 assists is absolutely disgusting. Mason Greenwood has reached... An amazing start so far. Only 20 years of age now. But let's go ahead and go to number, season number two and see how he does perform. Okay, so we're back with season two. And look at Mason Greenwood already. 83, representing his national team. Let's go, Mason. So I just want to clear a couple things up that were a couple controversial. Well, a lot of people questioned me last year in FIFA 21. So a lot of people said I did use development plans. So I don't use development plans. I can see he remains in balance. I promise I am not going to change it. The only thing I did change, obviously, was turn him into a right winger. So now, maybe he got a little bit. Yeah, it's not there anymore. He got a little bit of stat boost at the beginning of the season. But that's pretty much it. And for the first time ever, I will show the cheat engine. Just because I want to clear everything up. Look, so. We do have the scripts on. Obviously, we need to have the scripts on. If you guys don't understand, you can skip like 30 seconds into this video. See, the manager rating, 99. And free unlimited releasing players. So that's the only cheat engines. The cheats that we do use. Just to make sure we don't get fired. And we can release as many players as possible. For that first season that we do need it. But like I said, we're here in season two. He had a banger this season in season one. So hopefully he can replicate the same. Like I said, let's go ahead and sip to the end of season and see how Mason Greenwood does. A few moments later. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season two. And boys, I'm really hyped for this one career review. Like I said, he 
brilliant star brilliant star it's super rare that players like these when we do one reviews have like an amazing star like he did but obviously it's missing greenwood we kind of expected this from him but anyways let's go ahead and see how my united finished this season bro again in third place oh my god that's kind of frustrating but as you can see the league title was decided by goal difference we missed out by six or seven seven goals and goal difference this is absolutely heartbreaking but technically we won the league technically technically yeah, i'm gonna say we won the league but we didn't as you can see but fa cup did we win it this time surely we got farther than last time because we lost in the round of 16 last time and so if you guys have been subscribers for the channel for a while we never do good in the the epic the yeah the fa cup we always do trash for some reason we lost to oxford 4-2 come on boys that cannot be happening the carabao cup we did not reach the final this time we lost in the set well yeah ipswich beat us in the semi-finals in penalties that's what is going on with us champions league surely we won it again no we didn't did we make it yes we did we lost to club Bruges, boys <laughs> oh my god this is looking like more like my united real life but we did lose 3-1 to club Bruges, 5-3 in aggregate but no trophies for mason greenwood this year let's see how he performed <laughs> oh my god boys it's not the best season but it's still a banging season to be honest he carried this side well not in goals but he did get the most appearances alongside cristiano ronaldo cristiano ronaldo is showing him perfectly who he is how he will become but look at the goals okay we changed it just a little bit 18 goals and 9 assists is still really good obviously he had the superb season that first season but as you can see a plus four now 87 at 21 years old is absolutely monumental but another great season not the best season he had so far it's only the second season you guys have to think we still have three more seasons after this but another great season kind of expected a little bit more but it feels like the side maybe lacked a little bit of creativity because they didn't score as many goals because obviously we didn't win the league title but Great season nonetheless. Let's go ahead and go to season three and see how he does it. Mason Greenwood. Mason. Uh, you know, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was looking for a chant, but I could not find one. Rather, if they don't have a chant for Mason Greenwood, which the Man United fans should have, they have one about Eric Bailly, but not for Greenwood. But, I mean, I think that was pretty good. Leave down in the comments. Is that Was that good? I'm pretty sure that was good. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Basically, I'm really hyped to see what Mason Greenwood brings to us at the end of his five seasons. It's only season three. It's already 87 rated. So... So only one way to find out, which is we must continue, go to the end of season three. And let's see how it performs. Eventually. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season three. Is it season three? Yeah, it should be season three. Yeah, this is 2024. I have to remember it's a completely new year. I'm always just going to 2025. We're going to 2026 this year. But let's go ahead and see if my United can finally break that barrier of going past the top. We love United. No, we don't love United. I actually don't like my United. I have a shirt though. Um, I see. I would have bought a new one for this video, but we don't have that type of money. We're not a YouTuber with billions of subscribers. If I did, I'd buy uh, a kit for every single team I did for a video. And is anybody on the back? No, we just have a number five here. But as you can see, my United finished league winners. Mason Greenwood now has a Champions League as well as a Premier League in his bank for three seasons, which is not too bad, winning the title by one point against Man City. But Everton did pretty well. But that's not what we're here for today. FA Cup that finally we do good we never do good and ooh, we just can't get past the round of 16 like we just lose in the first round every time we play like who do we lose to I swear every second like to a trash team we lost to Oxford last time we lost to Shrewsbury I don't know what's wrong with us losing the FA Cup but Turbo Cup we reach the final and we lose it again that last time in the first season we lost to Liverpool this time we lose to Leicester City as for the Champions League we went ahead and lost in the quarterfinals to eventual no eventual finalist Dortmund but let's go ahead and see how Mason Greenwood performed in this season. Yes, boys, look at him. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face by Mason Greenwood. 90 rated plus three. He's one of the best in the world at only 22 years old. Hope maybe will this happen in real life? I mean, I hope it does. I really like Mason Greenwood as a player. He's a very humble player. 54 purchases for the young man. However, this is worst season by yet. Goal-wise, he did get 12 goals, but best assist season as far. 13 assists is really good, so... He's still getting amongst the goals no matter what. Top goal scorer once again. Oh, it wasn't Cristiano this time. It was Rashford. Rashford at a 93 now, but Rashford is not part of the... Like, he's not the video today. It is Mason Greenwood. So, another great season. Another 20-plus goal contributions. is nothing to uh, put down, but another amazing season for Greenwood. Two seasons left to go. Let's go ahead and go to the next season and see how he does perform. Guys, oh my God. Ronaldo's at an 82. Why is he still playing? Why is he doing this to himself? He's 39 and he's at an 82, but we love... Cristiano Ronaldo, I love Cristiano Ronaldo, but anyways, back to Mason Greenwood, already 90 rating at only 22 years old is absolutely outrageous, going like Mbappe in real life, but 
Like I said, Cavani says 66, he's still playing. To be fair, I did use the cheat engine to give him contracts, so that's why they haven't retired. I gave him like 10 years. But yeah, that's that's why that always happens, by the way. I'm just gonna clear it up. Mata 62. Okay, we're getting out of track here. Missing Greenwood, like I said, 90 rated. Again, representing his country. So, where's season 4 now? One more before the last one. Let's go ahead and sip to the end season. Nothing really else left to say. Let's see if he does well. One eternity later. Okay, boys, end of the season. Number four. And like I said, Mason Greenwood, banging. Banging of an episode so far. He has been downgrading the one goals, but that's fine. He is still improving. He's still doing really well for the team. So that does not matter. But I think I still think he'll reach the 100 goal mark. He's getting there. He still has this is well, the end of this season and then the end of the next season. So I do believe he'll reach that. Rating wise, I feel like maybe he'll stop at a 92, 93. But perhaps this may be his last growth, but who knows? Let's go ahead and see how my United did this season though. Back to back league titles for a Mason Greenwood here. Winning by two points over Chelsea and it's just been a great season so far. FA Cup, can we finally reach past the round of 16? We have won it. Finally, like you guys don't understand how long this run has been. So at every, probably in every single one of review we did last year, we lost in round two, like at the very beginning. In the first game we played, we always lost for some reason. Like I have no control over that. But Mason Gruden has that in his back pocket now. Two Premier Leagues, a Champions League, and this FA Cup. Can he make the Carabao Cup as well? And yes, it is 5-1. They're on a quadruple here. If they win the Champions League, that's a quadruple. If not, it's a domestic treble. And it it is a quadruple. Mason Gruden has achieved a quadruple. Oh my god, this is such an amazing video right now. But so that's two Champions League, two Premier Leagues, a Carabao Cup, and an FA Cup in his back pocket. He's winning everything so far. And next season, he probably will once again. Damn, a quadruple for Mason Greenwood is absolutely amazing. The first time that's ever happened in a one acre view. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to see his stats. <laughs> this man, this man is... I said he was going to reach a 92. He's at a 94. Dude, the growth in this game is absolutely crazy. You guys saw no development plans whatsoever. No cheats you guys saw. I promise you I have not changed it. I even left my house because I had to go do something. But I came back. I haven't changed anything. 65 appearances for the 23-year-old. 35 goals, reaching his best ever season in goals and assist as well. Like combined together, 12 assists is not too bad as well. Cristiano Ronaldo, still, I'm sorry, still going strong at 40 with 23 goals. He's definitely making it in the Premier League in real life. This team is really shaping up to be something amazing. But back to Mason Greenwood, a 90, a plus four this season. Oh my God. Can he reach 99 by next year? Probably not. He might max out at a 97, maybe even a 94. We don't know, but. Best season yet for Mason Greenwood, winning that quadruple. But anyways, I don't know how next season is going to top this season. But let's go ahead and go to season 5. Okay, boys. Final season of this legendary Wonder Kid review so far. He might even go to be the best ever Wonder Kid review we've ever done. We know who the top is right now. It is... Here's the top 3. If you guys... In case you haven't checked them out, you guys probably want to check them out. It's FIFA 21. It's been... It's boring already. In my opinion, it's the boss line. It's Sima, and then it's Golden Boy Kutsias. Yeah, so that's th for me. That's how it's been, um, basically, like just throughout the in rankings, it's been the best one. But Mason Greenwood is probably not like he's probably on top it. Like he's already at an 84, and he's scoring tons of goals. But he hasn't scored as many goals as other players though. Unless he somehow does all of those goals this season, I don't think he will though. Like I think Sima has the most goals ever or Sabosli. I remember they scored like 40 in a season. Greenwood has yet to do that. And I think he's already behind because of that 18 goal and then that 12 goal season he had. So, But it's still been amazing. I don't think he'll be the best. Actually, I may have exaggerated. But Macy Greenwood, Goatwood has done really, really good. Ronaldo, I, sorry. I can't believe he's still going on at 40. But okay. Let's go ahead and sim to this last season. And hopefully, maybe another quadruple, boys. Uh. Okay, boys. We have reached the final season of this glorious for some I don't even know that's the word for some choice oh, basically amazing one in career review that's been like 94 is absolutely insane but anyways I'm really excited to see his overall mainly I don't really care too much about the goals anymore because like the fact he's already at 94 is crazy and it wasn't even the last season but let's go ahead and see how my United did let's see if they won another quadruple okay step one completed the Premier League once again beating Chelsea by four points this time but Defi Cup, we're normally doing trash in these, and no, it's not a quadruple, boys. And look, okay, this time we lost. Oh, we lost to Banter Club Arsenal. 2 1. Carabao Cup, we could still win the triple. Do we have a chance? Okay, we do have a chance winning the Carabao Cup. Now, for the Champions League, then we complete the triple, and we lost to be. Oh my, no, 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 no. <laughs> 
No, this is this is so funny. You don't understand. For those of you who are not <laughs> For the oh my god. For those of you who are not active football watchers, I mean if you guys are football watchers, you guys will understand. This game is absolutely scripted. So in Europa League, Villarreal obviously beat my United last year in penalties. <laughs> Boys, it, it's happened in the Champions League five years later. Nah. No, nah, this is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely Dude, <laughs> You cannot write this. Oh no, this is very scripted. You cannot write this, but this is so funny. You will never see this in any other channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how Mason Greenwood did. Boys, 96. He has kept up at a 96. And to be honest, I think he still has like two more seasons to grow to at that 99. He definitely will. What amazing Monica review we have had today. 62 appearances, 28 goals, 13 assists, and just Rashford 44. 44 goals. Okay, we're not focusing on Rashford. 95 though. Greenwood's better. But can we talk about Ronaldo, man? 62 for appearances for 41 year old, scoring 18 goals is absolutely disgusting. But, anyways, back to Greenwood. 96 rating. Absolutely destroyed his potential. I don't think he has the highest potential. Not, not even Mbappe does. And Mbappe has the highest potential in the game. But he absolutely destroyed this one in review. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out his final stats. Okay, here we are, boys. Taking a look at... I was about to say Cristiano's final stats. Mason Greenwood's Goatwood's final stats. Okay, okay. Obviously, played for five seasons. Five seasons only. Played for one club, Man United. Appearances-wise, 294 appearances. Mm. Decent, decent, didn't really get a big injury, which is good. Goals, though. It's kind of let me down, but it's okay. He's still good to that 96 rating. For goals, he got 126 goals, which is absolutely amazing in five seasons. Assist, 56 assists, which is actually really impressive. Usually when we do this, when the kid reviews, if they score, they get absolutely no assists. They get like 10 assists throughout five seasons. But this year, maybe it's a little bit different. It's people 22 now, but Mason Greenwood finished with 56 assists. Zero transfer fees, obviously, because he did not transfer. And like I said, if you guys do want to see trophies, I'm not going to go ahead and add it here yet. But if you guys do want to see trophies, let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, as for the grade, though, I think I'm holding off on that A+, plus and I'm going to give him an A. Look, I know he reached a 96, but we've had the likes of Sima, Sabozlai, and the Golden Boy Gutierrez absolutely destroy goal records, like, plus 150. Like, it's absolutely disgusting. Well, mainly, slightly above 150. Yes, I think A is an appropriate great for him still absolutely out of this world Mason Greenwood and in real life I expect the same I think he will be that player if Ole treats him right he is gonna learn under Ronaldo no questions asked but if Ole somehow mismanages him or if Ole gets sacked and somebody mismanages him it can go to trash for him and sadly that's how the reality is as good as a player it is he can stay stuck at a club we've seen the likes of Van der Beek stay right now he's stuck at this club but hopefully that doesn't happen to him. I do really want to see him grow into the player that he can become. We all know he can become that player. But anyways, that is the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy the first ever Wonder Kid review of FIFA 22, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. This year has been so amazing so far. It's only been a week, almost a week and a half of FIFA, and the channel is doing amazing. I want to thank you guys so much. You guys deserve this content. If you guys do enjoy it, like I said, let me know. Leave down below any more players you guys want to see in the Wonder reviews. Like I said, I already have a list. I will not be repeating any players I did last year. Maybe just one or two. But like I said, leave down. I have a long list, but still leave down below. I want to see some suggestions. The, but main importance though, leave some Q&A questions. I really do want to do that Q&A for you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit more better. But like I said, leave some Q&A questions down below. As well as join my Discord. A lot of new viewers are here. I want you guys to join my Discord. I really want to get the viewers involved more in videos so I can do like Discord choosing my team and all that stuff. I just really get, need you guys to join the Discord. It's the easiest place to reach me. But anyways, make sure to always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy. And just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Dre. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. And... Chamos. <laughs>